Thank you. Chris Heron is back on the court. And two minutes left, my name's called in the starting lineup. But this one time rising basketball star is not performing the way he had once imagined. My first memory as a Boston Celtic was hanging on a street corner waiting for OxyContin. Heron is speaking to students at Pingree School in South Hamilton, Massachusetts, talking about who he really is. How do you define who you are? I'm a recovering drug addict, extremely grateful, uh, grateful for one day at a time. In a basketball town like Fall River, Massachusetts, Heron was the answer to all those who dreamed of making it. A 2,000-point scorer at Durfee High School, a McDonald's All-American, a Sports Illustrated darling, all before Heron started for Boston College. I was just like every other kid. You know, I was an athlete. I went out on Friday and Saturday nights thinking, you know, this is what high school kids do. And I just took it one step further than most. A dollar bill was handed to me. And at 18 years old, I snorted my first line of cocaine. Three failed drug tests, and a year later, his career at Boston College was over. But Heron wasn't out of the game. He landed at Fresno State, the Denver Nuggets, then with his hometown Boston Celtics. But his drug use escalated, turning to deadly overdoses. When I woke up in the back of an ambulance. The police officer cuffed me and said, my man, you were just dead 30 seconds ago. In the world of addiction, you hate yourself, you know, so escape yourself. So whatever drugs in front of me, I'm going to take because I don't like being me. After years of abusing heroin, cocaine, and prescription drugs, after losing his career and nearly his family, Heron finally accepted help through a 12-step program. His troubled past detailed in the book, Basketball Junkie. He's been sober since August 1st, 2008. Three years sober. Um, three and a half. Three and a half. Don't cheat me. Please, a nice round of applause for former NBA basketball player and Boston College Eagle, Chris Heron. Speaking about addiction is therapy for Heron, taking his story to schools nationwide and reaching out to people like Luke Sarathi and his father. Luke has had trouble with alcohol. It's helped put a perspective on, you know, there's a path where I can take from this point. It took Heron 14 years to find his path to sobriety. Do you ever think to yourself what could have been? Who cares? Who cares? Honest to God, why should I care? Because it's... I'm too happy where my feet are today to worry about my footprints behind me. Jason Carroll, CNN, Boston.